All right, here we go, Big Daddy Shit, day 12, 83, the park. So, uh, today was uh, Harold's off day. <laughs> Thank you, Harold, if you're watching this. Harold the Handyman is one of the greatest friends anybody could ever ask for. So, um, yeah, and Stu, he helped me out because I had to get my rotors turned on the front of brakes because... I guess there's like maybe grooves in there. So then when I'm driving downhill, it would just like put on the brakes and go. <laughs> and then so it was, oh yeah, if you didn't see it. <laughs> um, and then so it was horrible because I just changed my brakes, but we didn't turn the rotors. So I did that. So I went to Luis's place and then we hung out and then, you know, had to wait my turn and then Stu picked me up for lunch then we all went to lunch at uh, this place called Orchard Orchard Barbecue Grill in Whittier and then so yeah and then came back and then Stu is helping me sort through a lot of my clothes so he was taking some I have a lot of clothes that are like brand new. The thing is I kind of outgrew them so they're still brand new. And then I go, Stu, why don't you just take these and make, right? So it's like, I didn't realize I had stuff from like years ago, right? And then so everything else, I probably have to donate to Salvation Army or something. I was gonna do a yard sale or whatever, but yard sales are just too rough. At least Salvation Army. I heard that they pick up your stuff too. So like my dresser, that it's huge. And I don't want to move it. Nobody wants to move it. So maybe Salvation Army picks it up. Or, you know, put it on Marketplace or something. I have no idea. My TV stand. My computer desk. My old computer desk. You know... And then a bunch of bags of clothes. So, you know, gotta do it, get the receipt, tax write off donation, whatever. <sighs> but, you know, today I gotta talk to Stuart a lot about the move and everything. And today I actually have to sleep pretty early because I need to wake up early and get to my place by seven. Because the furniture place is coming seven to 10. So I have no idea, are they gonna come at seven? Are they gonna be eight, nine, 10? I don't know. So that's what's not too fun about it, but we'll see. Pretty gnarly because with every day that happens, I'm closer to not living in the apartment and then living full time in high desert, right? And uh, you know, I, I, it's not the thing about moving that gets me. It's about wondering what my paycheck's going to look like after paying all these bills, right? So that's what I am curious. And after paying for all the furniture and all the bills and everything and, and seeing what happens, I loan payment, a uh, mortgage. And uh, starting a new school. Not a new school, but a new school year. But I know it's gonna be rough because uh, I have a lot of things I have to accomplish. But hey, school starts August 1st, and it's what? July 14th. By the way, Kent Crosby, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Kent Crosby. Happy birthday to you, yay. Greatest boss ever in the history of ever. He's a great boss. And uh, he's one of the main reasons why I was able to get a house. He was the chief uh, union negotiator when they were doing salaries. And then he was my boss. Yay! So I'm proud of me for certain things. It's like I had some sentimental stuff that I saw, like, oh my gosh, that's my first coaching t-shirt and whatever. I'm like, you know what, I think I gotta keep that one. 
that was pretty fun. You know, and you see certain things, but some of the things I let go. But what I realized, I have a ton of golf shirts. And then so I split them with Stuart. I'm like, okay, you take this, or I'll take that, right? Because I'm going to golf like crazy up in high desert, right? Charlie Yu, if you're happy to watch this, somehow we have to connect so you could come over and we golf, right? It's for you other people who don't know. Charlie Yu's like family. He's been watching my stuff forever and ever and ever. And um, we met at the golf shop a while ago. And then so, you know, I know he's cheering me on for different things. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, how are you? Pretty good. All right. Yeah, I'm moving. Today's the last day you're going to see me from here. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. That's what it's going to be like. Meeting a lot of friends. And singing Home on the Range for my backyard. So my, my next month of videos should be interesting because it's just me breaking in a new place. But right now, it's just trying to relax in between these moves. I mean, yeah. Oh well, still moving. What am I gonna do? There you go. Day 1283 in the books. <sighs> so, you know, it's, it's getting there, cleaning up the place, putting a lot of bags, good thing I have like a ton of garbage bags from Costco and uh, organizing, okay, what am I gonna take? What am I gonna donate? And uh, yeah, for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be going back and forth. And um, should be fine, plus I have to have a, like a deep cleaning of my place. And then finally, I'll give you like a video walkthrough of my apartment. I mean, it's horrible. Anybody who ever been to my place in real life. Uh, well, the, f the living room usually looks pretty good, but in my back room, yeah, that thing was bad. Still is right now, but we'll see. I got this bucket of tennis balls. What am I gonna do with a bucket of tennis balls? I do know people that play tennis, so. We'll see. All right, but anyways, uh, gotta go, because I gotta keep moving. Big Daddy Shin, day 1283. If I can exercise 1,283 days in a row, you can exercise 1,283 days in a row, because if I can do it, you can do it, and I'm doing it. Um, the move continues. <laughs>